Aquarius hey Aquarius welcome back to my channel and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Aquarius if you're new to my channel I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected your energy is protected as well if you're returning thank you so much for returning I appreciate it and you trust me with your energy so the first message we have here is divine intervention okay wow so when this card comes out it usually indicates that your connection may be going through something very serious at this time. And I'm getting the word test. So there's a divine masculine who currently feels guided to test your connection. And honestly, the energy that's coming through is very, very calm. So they're not coming from a place of insecurity, but this is definitely something that they feel is necessary at this stage of your connection. It's almost as if they're doing this because something within is seeking a deeper level of confirmation about you, Divine Feminine. Something that goes way beyond the physical as far as what they can see and what they already know about you. This masculine's energy coming through is someone who really likes being in control, especially when it comes to their emotions. And anytime their emotions begin to change, it's like they go into this mode where they need solid proof of what's happening inside of them. But what's interesting about this is that this is not the first time they've done this within your connection. I'm getting that this has happened in the past, but in a very different way. So usually they would look to you, Divine Feminine, for this confirmation that they're seeking. And they would do this by watching you, listening to you, or just simply tapping into the energy of your connection to find the answers to whatever they were questioning. But this seems a little different. And where they are right now, they feel like the only way they can get the answer is through a higher power. So this is the energy of a divine masculine who is asking for divine intervention as a means to kind of confirm something about your connection. And they're really serious about this, but they're also very, very calm and prepared for the answers that they're seeking. So this may be something major because of the way that the energy is coming through. It's almost as if this is something that they need confirmed on a soul level. So something deep within is kind of pulling them in this direction. And I'm also getting that this may be something that you've picked up on as well, Divine Feminine, or something that you may be wondering about. You may also feel like there's something being communicated from your person telepathically at this time as well. Like their soul is trying to tell you something, and you're right. I'm also getting that there's actually a lot of communication happening at this time, but it's happening in the spiritual realm. And your masculine is trying to bring this down to the physical. They may not even be conscious of what they're doing, but something is definitely driving them in this direction. So this may be a very important process for them to unpack at this time, okay? But your person is actively seeking the assistance of a higher power. And that is the only assistance that they're open to at this time, okay? They also feel like this is the only thing that can bring them peace of mind and provide them with clarity. So depending on where you are in your journey, you may be picking up on the intensity as well. Um, and this is simply because this is how they're feeling um, as they're waiting for something to be revealed to them about you, Divine Feminine, and about your connection, okay? Wow. So let's get the next message here. The next message we have is a different kind of love. Okay, so I, I have to point this out. What's interesting about this reading here already is that Divine Feminine, usually your energy comes through very intensely. But for some reason, there's a heavy focus on the masculine energy here. So this could be playing a part in how they're feeling or they may be very focused on something right now. They also could be intentionally
trying to make this decision or approach this without your influence, which is interesting because this is about you, okay? But I'm getting that you're someone who has the ability to influence their emotions effortlessly. And you may not be aware of your ability to do this, but just a simple look, maybe the things you say, your actions, even your tone of voice has an effect on them in a way that you can't even begin to imagine, okay? So although they really love this bond that you have and the way that you are so in tune with one another physically and energetically, it's like this masculine, their energy is coming through very serious and it's like they're very adamant about not being swayed by you at this time, okay? Wow. So this masculine energy is very, very focused, almost determined, okay? They may even be focused on a certain goal in life, but what's being highlighted here is their love life. I'm also getting process of elimination. So they're in a very selective energy right now, and their focus is centered on feminine energy specifically, okay? What's sticking out here is that whatever this is, is new to them. So whatever they seem to be looking for right now or whatever they're trying to get confirmation on is vastly different from what would normally grab their attention, okay? And this is why this confirmation has to come directly from God. Your person is about to make a huge decision. And this is happening because their inner world has shifted in some way. And now this energy is being manifested in their outer world. This is very interesting, okay? It's almost as if they know exactly what they're looking for, but at the same time, they seem to still be searching as if they haven't found it yet, okay? I'm also getting something here about a list. So this is a masculine that is getting very specific about what it is that they need. So maybe they actually made a list, or this could be pointing to just their mental process. But the main thing that's being highlighted here is that whatever qualifications they were applying to their love life specifically has changed in some way. And the way the energy is coming through, instead of them focusing on you right now, Divine Feminine, they've made a conscious decision to go within. So although they know that the bond they have with you is unbreakable, something deep within is guiding them to change the way that they deal with, with the matters of the heart, okay? Wow, this message is coming through. This may be a very specific message, okay? The way this energy is coming through. Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have here is, your soul is rare. Yeah, this message is very, very specific, okay? So this explains why this masculine is being intentional, very intentional about not wanting to be influenced by you, Divine Feminine, or your energy. I'm getting that there was some kind of sacred merging that took place recently. And this could have been physically, energetically, or sexually. But after this happened, something was revealed to your person about who you truly are to them on a soul level. And although your masculine's higher self resonated with this, I'm getting their ego self immediately questioned it. And what's interesting is that deep down, this has already been confirmed. So this explains why their energy is coming through very, very calm right now. But for some reason, they still feel as if they need some type of proof or a direct message from a higher power before they can move forward. This is someone who has always felt like there was something about you that God wasn't showing them fully. And so they're literally waiting for divine intervention to show them what their higher self has always known to be true about you. And what's interesting is that their higher self knows that whatever is about to be revealed to them is going to completely alter how they view love, okay? This is gonna shift their reality in a major way. So whatever this is definitely feels permanent. This is someone divine feminine who has had the opportunity to merge with you and your soul. And this type of encounter doesn't happen with just anyone. 
So when this took place, I'm getting that you instantly knew what was happening, Divine Feminine. Maybe you couldn't explain it, but you definitely felt it. And they want you to know that they felt it too. So this was a very rare encounter and it's left them wondering about you, okay? Whether you know this or not. So the way that your person is viewing you is that you are rare, that your soul, the very essence of your being is rare, okay? And once you merge with your masculine on this level, it definitely unlocks a completely different path for them. And so their lives are shifting and they're wondering why this is happening to them at this time. They're also wondering if this is just a coincidence or if this has something to do with you and this exchange that you both had, okay? So if you're wondering how they're viewing your connection, they're currently attempting to test the validity of your connection, okay? By setting intentions and sitting back and waiting for them to come to fruition. They're not using any type of force and they're not letting you know what it is that they're doing, okay? What's happening right now is very personal to them and it's strictly between them and God. So Divine Feminine, your person knows that there's something more to you and they're kind of on this mission to find out exactly what it is and how it relates to them. But they don't want you to tell them, okay? They don't even want to assume. They want God to show them, okay? Who you are in a very real, raw, and tangible way. And I'm getting that the both of you are about to be extremely shocked at what happens next on your journey, okay? So this stage of your connection is definitely divinely guided where your person is kind of waiting for instruction, not only on when, but how to engage you. It's like they're being called to be very, very strategic with you. And that's why their energy is coming through so calm as well, because they are fully trusting the most high right now. Your person is completely in surrender mode when it comes to you and your connection. Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have here is only the truth can set me free. Wow. Okay, so if you're resonating with this message so far, your masculine has been seeking divine guidance because they know they have to make a decision very, very soon. And it's important for them to make this decision without your influence, divine feminine. So the way this unfolds, will actually tell them everything that they need to know. And this is why they want God to do it because this really feels like a permanent decision. And the way the energy is coming through, it's like they're faced with a few options. They can either continue to live their lives the way that they have, or they can be brutally honest with themselves and you about how they are truly feeling right now. And where they are right now, they're choosing to tell the truth because they know that this is the only thing that can really set them free mentally and emotionally. But if they were to be 100% honest with you, your person has been feeling very, very restricted lately within your connection. Almost as if they can't really be themselves or that they have to be a certain way around you. And this has become very uncomfortable for them, but only because they haven't been honest with you about something that they experienced. And I keep getting love here. So they have no idea, but what they're going through right now is something that their soul is pulling them towards. There's some type of lesson or soul lesson that they're being nudged towards. And the timing of this is significant as well. So the questions that they're asking, them seeking this guidance, all of this is actually by design. And they may not fully understand what's going on, but it's very important for them to make sure that they're aligning with this energy from a very real place. And Divine Feminine, I'm getting that you're connected to a very powerful masculine energy. I was picking up on their energy and just this sense of control. They really may have their lives in order. They like to have control over things. Um, but there are some very painful things that they've experienced on their journey. So ever since that they met you, I'm getting that things became even more painful for them because 
your energy or just the energy of the connection brought up so much of what was unhealed to the surface. But I'm getting that this actually had to happen in order to totally change their perspective of love. So this is a connection that made them feel very exposed from the very beginning, which is weird because people usually go into connections only showing and telling what they're comfortable with up front. But that was never a part of your connection. It's like you totally skipped, you know, that awkward, shy beginning phase. And you went straight into it, you know, with this really raw kind of transparency. And you had this subtle way of kind of letting them know that you had access to very intimate details about them. But you also showed them that you can handle all of them. You know, this is new territory for this masculine. So even if they've never come out and told you this, something about your energy makes them feel this way. And it also makes them a little cautious with you as well, okay? Because I'm getting that there's a huge difference from life before meeting you and life after meeting you. So they really had to hide a lot of parts of themselves or this was just a natural part of relationship for them. And so this divine masculine wants a higher power to confirm this about you because their soul is ready for a new experience in love. One that they intuitively feel like they can have with you, whether they know it or not consciously. But they've always felt kind of naked in your presence anyway, okay? Like the energy is coming through extremely intense right now. So I can only imagine what they actually feel when they're in your presence, okay? And they want you to know that they only kind of push back against this because they didn't fully understand who you were. So you're the only person who's made them feel as if they really weren't in control. And believe it or not, this is actually a huge turn on for this masculine, okay? The fact that they don't really know what to expect when it comes to you. There's something about your energy that really makes them feel alive versus how they experienced love in the past, which may have been very restrictive. And I'm getting that this energy may have spilled over into your connection where it forced them to kind of hide parts of themselves in order, you know, to keep the peace or, you know, they felt like they had to do this in order to make other people happy. But with this connection with you, it's the total opposite, okay? It's like the more that they hide things or the more that they stuff their emotions down, the more delays they experience with you and kind of the farther apart they feel from you. So this is a very key moment within the twin flame dynamic. And this is happening in your connection in real time where the masculine energy is beginning to view you divine feminine as an extension of themselves, okay? This is literally changing everything for them, okay? Um, spiritually and physically. Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have is, I've been looking for you. Yeah. So your masculine is feeling very bold at this time, Divine Feminine. They actually want to see how powerful they are within this connection. So they know that this connection is rare, but they also know that they are a reflection of you as well. And so Divine Feminine, your masculine is actually testing their own power at this time. Not so much the validity of the connection, like I mentioned before, but they want to know if they have this access to higher information in the same way that you do. And the beauty of this awakening or this ascension process that they're going through is that it's beginning to happen rapidly because they actually believe that they are who they think they are, okay? There's a merging happening um, with their spiritual body. And so they want you to know right now that they have always been searching for you, even when they didn't really know that they were looking for you. Your person is having a very transparent moment with themselves. So maybe they came into this connection with this list of all the things that they wanted in a partner, but their requirements were based on a past timeline. And this is changing in a major way. Their soul can no longer handle surface love. Okay, so whatever took place with you during this sacred exchange was by design. 
it literally opened up another path within your connection and it showed your masculine another way and now their heart has been changed so things that maybe had their attention in the past it really does not move them or even get a rise out of them they're extremely uninterested or they're just over a certain type of energy and what they're beginning to realize is that they're not able to love you in the same way that they've loved anyone else, okay? That you also require something different at this stage of your connection. So this connection has really required you both to be fully exposed in a way that has been uncomfortable. And so naturally this may have created a little bit of delays, maybe even some tension, okay? But this is the energy of someone who has completely shifted and this is being reflected in how they view you, but more importantly, in how they view the connection, okay? It's like they're being called right now to be very strategic with you. And that's why the energy is coming through so calm because they're fully trusting the process right now. Um, they're realizing that God is the one who led them to the person that they had been unconsciously searching for their entire lives. And so they now have an understanding that God is the only one who can show them how to handle you properly, Divine Feminine, okay? This is very, very beautiful energy. Let's get the last card here. Okay, so the last message we have here is counting down the days. Okay, so while your person's energy is coming through very calm, very cool and collected, fully knowing that God is in control of this current season and this stage of your journey. They want you to know that they are holding back so much excitement, okay, for what's about to happen. Honestly, it feels like a huge weight has kind of been lifted off of their shoulders because they no longer have any doubts about you and just how intentional this whole thing has been literally from the moment that you cross paths. And this happens a lot with the masculine energy because sometimes they have the tendency to kind of overthink things as well or even question a lot of the information or the signs that they get because it is so intense. And also this connection is very, very spiritual. And so depending where they are on their spiritual journey, they can miss a lot of the signs or maybe they need validation. This, this is what's happening here, okay? And they got to this point where the more they tried to deny, the louder and the more intense the signs became for them. But your masculine has definitely moved into this very peaceful state where they know that this connection is protected by a higher power. And also, they know that they are directly connected to this higher power and that they can ask for what they need when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, whether it be something as small as a confirmation or a sign, okay? So right now, your person is moving or going through this ascension where they have a deeper level of trust in God and also in you. And this is something that their souls were really, really yearning for because it feels like there may be something unexpected about to happen within your connection. So right now, your masculine is definitely hanging close to their higher selves in a very positive, very spiritual type of energy, okay? Because they know that they want to orchestrate this in the best way possible. So although they are going through this kind of sacred awakening, they are really, really missing your energy, Divine Feminine. And they can't wait to be in your presence. And they actually want to have a, a much more permanent place in your life right now. So if you are in this place where you're kind of questioning the current status of your connection, it looks like it's in a very, very intentional place right now, no matter where you may be on your journey. And it's really important to your person that you know this, okay? And so your person definitely went through this moment where they kind of wanted to test the connection but what they're really going through is they want to test the power that they have because you are so i'm picking up on a feminine energy this may be very specific but you are very very spiritual and there's something about your soul that really really has impacted or has had a lasting impact on this masculine here 
And ever since this exchange happened, your person has been looking for confirmation, okay? Their higher selves are trying to really remind them of their power and the power that they hold as the masculine energy. And so they're shifting and testing out the power that they have to the creator, the power that they have in order to receive signs, divine guidance as it pertains to you. And this is really strengthening the connection where they're beginning to really see you as an extension of them, okay? This is very, very beautiful energy. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.